you all, you leave the island, and you make it all the way to Bervania. To which you can find your airship is, uh... Stowed away in the aerodrome. But you got a whole ass city to explore. Technically I mean, six cities. Have to. You don't have to, you I mean, can just keep leaving. This also isn't the first time you've been here. People keep coming to Bervania. Wasn't Ver no, correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't Verbania like Verbania, the one where we were like, uh, Mullenkamp showed up and like, fucking one of the judges talked to her and yeah. we were hiding. Yeah. Okay, I'm making sure I remember the city because I'm like I know we've been there. Yeah. Also, I think this is where we, if I'm not mistaken, this is also where we left on the train. Uh, you left uh, in Rabinaster. It was headed to Bervania. And the, uh, uh, wrong. It well, it Bing. never made it. Surprisingly, it, what it never made it. Yeah, it couldn't have been because so. we were on it, right? Yeah, definitely not. But uh, yeah, the, this is also the city where you buried. Uh, some magicite uh, left it as a, an <laughs> explosive trap. Oh yeah, uh, can I actually see where that magicite is? Since I pumped it with two full M eight empty bars worth of magic, shadow magic. You did, yeah. Wait, did you put shadow magic into it or uh, imbue it with the dark? Uh, well, at the time I was referring to any type of that type of stuff as shadow magic. Because I was ignorant at the time. So, you, it was probably just regular shadow magic then. No, I'm saying that it very well could have been the dark. Right, I, what I'm saying is, is it's very likely that it was just shadow magic, though. Roll me a d100. It, okay. I was, I was going to say, because you wouldn't have like known how to do that yet. Uh, yeah, there's some dark there. Yes. So do I see where it's that? Like it's general surroundings, like here. Yeah, it's uh, it's dark, and there's dirt everywhere. <laughs> it's very dark. Nobody even went for it after we exploded the island. I mean, you can go for it. You can go for it if you want. You know, it's probably not a bad idea. So then we have something we can just drop off somewhere that we want to keep an eye on. I mean, it's up to you, man. I, I, I'm not the one who is able to help with traps, man. I'm not touching it. I don't know. We just are like, hey, keep hold of this. Okay, thanks. No, I'm saying that because I'm assuming if it's still under there, then the trap is probably still there. No, we exploded it. Did we? I don't remember. Yeah, we, we exploded it to try to bring attention to it, so they thought that that was the stone. Instead of us running away with the stone. Why wouldn't you have set up another trap? That seems stupid on your part. Because I wanted them to find it. I didn't want to explode people. Doc Why not? Would have had a problem with me exploding. I people. mean, you're right. Doc would have. Me, the player, wouldn't have. That would have been awesome. I'm not as good of a person as my character is. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. I mean, you oh, lived yeah. with me long enough, you know. Anyway. Do you, um, what were you going to say? Keep me sorry. Do you want to go to where you buried the stone? And explode the trap? Yes. I mean, I'm going to go see if they've restocked anything in the store. All right. Uh, give me a tracking plus 40. I'm assuming that's for Lux. Yeah, that's for Lux. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> need, <laughs> you don't need to It would make sense for me to track the shop. Yeah, yeah, no. You, It'd be you funny. know where the shop is. It would be funny, but thank you for not making me. Also, QB. Yeah? You forgot to ask me and Lux some questions. 
Oh, did I? You did. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow. Fine. Lux, do you want to be a social disaster today? Yeah. It's the part I look forward to the most. All right. Well, uh, you now have uh, one key point, and all of your social roles are that fail or botches. Do I also get a key point for the, my recap? Yes, you get a key point for the recap. Yes. Uh, Yosefer. Yes. You look good today. Keep it up. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. It's very hot, so I don't believe you, but thank you anyway. Uh, I mean, I it's as much as I can see you, which is not at all. Okay, so you're lying to me. I am lying to you, but it's to make wow. you feel better. It's still a lie. It sure is. Okay. I, I'll lie to you to make you feel better no matter what. That's a okay. friend's promise right there. <laughs> but what if I ask you not to lie? Would you lie about lying? No. That's not lying. No, that didn't sound very committed. What? It sounded more. It sounded more like you were being kind of cheeky with me. I would no. Not, I would not be I, cheeky with you. I'd never do that, little old me. No. I'm just a funny little guy. Oh yeah. Uh. Also. Uh. Gosh, I was about to ask you. Oh yeah. Uh. Would you like to be a walking disaster today? Absolutely. All right, you get two key points, and every single fail that you roll is a botch. I need, I swear to God, I need to spend some of these fucking key points, dude. How many do you got? No, oh, I have 22, and I have four job points. Yeah, you can buy so many things with that. I know, I know I need to spend them so bad, but I need to hit level 29. You know... <laughs> Level 29 is a very good level. There's a lot of really good things in level 29. I know! <laughs> I'm aware! <laughs> Swear have, to God, I'm not trying to stockpile them. Have you seen there's uh, this one... Uh, this one ability you could get called uh, Jump? It's great. I... As, as much as I, the player, love Jump, I don't think that it would work for Doc. That is unfortunate. But he has he has good strength. What is oh, I mean, sure, but like he doesn't have a weapon to use jump with unless you want him to jump with a bomb, which would be very cool. But that'd be so cool. <laughs> that'd be so. <laughs> think he'd be smart. Just jumping over someone and <laughs> lobbing your bombs from the sky. I mean, if that's how you play it, like that would be sick as hell. That would be sick. Ooh, no. Now you that you're saying that. He wants jump. If you do a giant jump and then use your limit break, that'd be sick. I, I don't think I can do that. I don't think mechanically I can do that because isn't jump a different attack? It is. It is. But it'd be yeah, sick. Yeah, I was like, I, it would be sick. The idea? The idea? You're cooking. Yeah. But if you have jump and you're using that regularly and then use a limit break, you can just flavor your limit break as you jump up and throw all the bombs. It's true. I mean, I guess. Wow, that's not very committed. Wow. No, because I wanted to. I wanted to look into getting a bunch of different counters. Excuse me. I still think you should get regular counters because I think it would be funny if somebody melee hits you and you just shove a bomb inside their mouth. I'm I. That's I funny. have the goal. The end goal here with Doc is to just get every counter I can, including regular counters. So it's on the list. But you could get it now. I could get it now. But now I'm feeling pressured, so now I'm not gonna. Darn. 
I want to see you chipmunk somebody's face with bombs. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you go into the shop. There is a uh, a rev there. He's like, hey, welcome to Bravania. Welcome to the hunting guild shop. Would you like to see what we have for our wares? Uh, yes. What? Great. What section is this in QB for the city's page? Uh, it is in Rosarian Empire. Thank you. You're welcome. We have 17 tier 1 medals, 33 tier 2 medals, 6 tier 3 medals, 92 tier 1 wood, 40 tier 2 wood, 69 tier 3 wood, 53 tier 1 cloth, 81 tier 2 cloth, 77 tier 1 gems, 66 tier 2 gems, 8 tier 3 gems, 29 tier 1 spoils, 70 tier 2 spoils, 55 tier 3 spoils. We did have a lot of tier 4 items, but uh, we've uh, got sold out a bit ago. Uh, that sucked. Um... Who was it so we can beat them up? <laughs> Yeah, who is it so we can beat up them up and steal their stuff? I'm kidding. Don't actually. It's not actually dog. Um. Good. good. Jimmy, Lux, do you know if we have the stuff to actually make these measures you want? Or do I need to buy it? Um. I don't remember. Is that helpful? No, that's very unhelpful. Um. Um, I have on there what we still need to buy. Is it the stuff off to the, off the right? Off to the far right, yeah. Okay. And the two, one, and three are the most important ones, but fours would be nice, so we can the tier... resist some elements. Well, we can't, I don't... Um... I don't know uh, what tier these items are. I, I have a tier on that. The curative is tier one, speed is tier three, and the, 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 the items four. that are, are tier three oh. that I need to buy. Yeah, I'm talking about no. the item. Uh, plant juice, I think, is just tier one. It's a tier one. Because it is a tier one measure, so I assume it's just tier one. QB is plant juice, uh, an herb, or a spoil. I don't remember. It should be a spoil. Okay. I can double check, I think but I'm pretty sure. All of this is spoils. Because it's not going to have any herbs on a measure. Yeah, yeah. Those well, I don't herbs. know. It's a cure measure, man. I don't know. It could be fucked up and weird. Wow. Measures scare me. They are terrifying. <laughs> They're so what did, intimidating. What did measures do to you? They're intimidating. They, they make it to where we can buff each other. Yeah, and they're intimidating. That's why I'm leaving it to you, not me. Well, I spent the job points to be able to be good at it. Um. Well, the upside is that some of these items we actually have written down. Plant juice is a tier one spoil, because I'm realizing that it's in some of our stuff on these crafting things, too. Hey. Uh, I took off the stuff as it was currently there, so if we gain new stuff, it could be. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure of is tortoise shell, QB. What tier is that? I know it's a spoil, but... Uh, let me pull that up. For tortoise shell for sprint, correct? I Probably so. it's sprint, speed, or blink. One of the three. Yep, it's one of those three. Uh, tortoise shell is uh, tier one. Okay. Yeah. So it's so, a lot of cheap stuff. Yeah, basically. 
Um, the only thing I'm not going to be able to really buy probably is a, is is any of the tier four stuff. So That's I will just focus on the tier one and tier three one that you're asking for. Then uh, I think the elements secondary you might have, or I could just be done. We'll probably need to make sure that we did it. I didn't take any of the inventory off of for this. What? You've lost me. I'm sorry. Uh, because I don't have anything written on the elements secondary, so there's a chance we have those already, but I don't think we have those already. Oh, the, uh... It's, it'll be best for us just to mark off as we go, because I know a lot of it involves uh, magic our magic stones that we got no, the moonstones that we got so many from Ramiel forever ago and still are the, the high. What were the frags you needed? So I'm looking at our list right now. Uh, chilling, destructive, and electrifying. Five of each? Yes. We already have those. Alright. Um... So we already have... We already have the tortoise shell. We already have the plant juice. Do I need to come up with, like, an actual list? What are you talking about? I'm looking at our lists of stuff. No, I mean, like, come we up are... with what actually is needed. So we already have the cottontail. Do we really just, like, have everything already? Dude, things, I, this is what happens when they just buy out a bunch of fucking shit. Alright. Um, we probably will need more tortoise shell for that last one that you want. The last measure. Because we only have 11. So I'll probably buy another stack of 10 when we're here. Because okay. um, I'm not guaranteeing we have all this stuff for it. And if we don't, we can eventually add it to it. Did we establish, is turtle shell the same as a turtle carapace, or is that different? The no, turtle, turtle shell is portal. tier 4. I, yeah, I know. The uh, care, uh, they're different. They're different? Yeah. Okay. So we don't have that. We do have the Hydra scale. So out of all of this, the only thing we're missing is the turtle shell and then another stack of 10 tortoise shells. Unless I was writing down what we had for it already, but I don't remember what I was doing with this. So, that's why I'm like, we should probably do it piece by piece. I mean, that's fair. It's basically, we have everything except for like... I'm gonna fix the tortoise shell problem right now, so it's just the turtle shell. Um, I guess I'm just gonna buy ten um tier one spoils of uh tortoise shell. Alright, that'll be fifty gil. Okay. Um measures are metal and wood. They're what? The measures themselves are metal and wood. Okay. Well, what do I need for those? Did you write that down oh, somewhere? For tier one, I think we already have them. I mean... Yeah. I'm talking about the other ones. I mean, obviously I can't get the... I can't get the... The, the sixth one yet, but... Uh, I will start actually writing down the specifics. Make yeah, I just... Easier. I just need to know how much metal I need. Uh, it's six metal and four wood per. And we have lots of metal and lots of wood for tier one, two, and, and I believe three. Yeah. Uh, I don't... Okay, we do have tier three wood. I wasn't seeing any. Um, then I think that's it then, because, yeah, we already have all of that stuff that I would need. I'm putting you in charge of taking that stuff off of our sheet, by the way. Okay. When when I go to make your shit, you're taking it off the sheet for me. I'm not <laughs> gonna figure that out on my own. <laughs> wow. Um, I think that is all I need. All right. Uh, since it will be useful to you in, uh, six levels, I think, don't forget that you can purchase, uh, battle items from the shops. 
If you ever need more. He uses up spoilers. Yeah. It's the season finale, <laughs> so... Yeah, it's about to, about to wipe to new. It's true. It's a... So how does it work again, QB? I know you told me about it, but I, I, it was a while ago and I've not actually done anything with the buying battle item stuff. So basically, uh, uh, one item will cost five crafting points of that tier. Okay. So, for example, there is uh, 19 crafting points left of spoils. So you can mm -hmm. buy three tier one uh, battle items, or you could buy t 11 tier three battle items. Do they cost the same as if you were buying those crafting points? Yes. Additional question, if I buy the crafting points, can I make them myself or do I have to buy them? Uh, I don't have a system in place to craft them yourself. Well, that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to ask you for. <laughs> make your ass work. But you can just... I mean, I know I can just buy them. Yeah. But where's the satisfaction? Right, if I'm not near a hunter's guild and I need a battle item. Then crafting them would be handy. Yeah, but you can kill a monster to get it. Yeah, but the drop rate's bad. No. Well, you say that. I think those were buffed a lot. Yeah, they were buffed a lot. Because um, whenever I was killing those toads, I got one off of every single one of them. Even if I stole from them. I'm looking at this list. Are there really no... Okay, there is a... I was going to say, is there no tier 3 ones? But, like, there's not very many. There is a singular. Yeah, there's one. There's one tier 3 battle item. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Some of them are That's like, there's one. so dumb. And other ones are like... <laughs> All right, there's like 50. <laughs> so, yeah, tier 2 looks like there's like a bunch. That's yeah. so dumb. And the thing that's um, really weird is that some of them are like, all right, here's your Fire Aga, here's your uh, Thundaga. If you want Blizz Aga, you're going to have to go to the next tier. And weird stuff. Tier like 7. That. Tier 7 is the one that has the most. Can you, at some yeah. point, Lux, can you sort these by tier? Because this is a lot. They are I know it's th the mixing items. Oh. I, were I was going to say, the mixing items lines. definitely aren't considering the first one on the list is a tier 8. Eh. Um, I'll buy, like, I guess a couple Antarctic wins, so that's tier 2. Okay. Like, 2 or 3. Right, is it 2 or is it 3? You decide, QB. I'm letting you make that decision. I just want a couple. Alright, uh, here's three of them you can have. Cool. And how uh, much does that cost? 225 gil. Okay. Uh, Lux, I, I messed with the yellow one, right? The yellow number? Yeah. The yellow number is the end result number. You said it was 225? Yes. There I you go. I did it. Oh. You didn't do it right. No. I... <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll leave that to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should just not mess with this machine, We were dude. about to give a 50 guild tip. It's fine. Oh, that's fine. I'm we fine didn't. with that. Oh. No, we're not doing 50 guild tip. Sorry. Um, okay, now, now I'm good. Now I'm good. Did you add it to your mixing list? No, I didn't yet. Ugh. Now it is. Now it's there. God, you're so fucking needy. Yep. Great. Now I'm good. I'm leaving the shop. Damn. Alright, you are now leaving, leaving the shop. 
Uh, so let's cut to... Uru, you're outside of the town. Uh, and... Big Uru. The stone is right where you left it, to be honest. <sighs> we didn't trap it. I'm about 90% sure we didn't trap it. We rigged trap so it would go off, but after we had left, just to bring attention to it, and evidently nobody came for it. Nobody came for it. I want to go pick it up. Yeah. Do I successfully have it? You do. Congratulations, you do. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a dirty? bag. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's, it's dirty. dirty. You're gonna put it in your bag. It's dirty. I'm putting it in a bag, not my bag. You. I was gonna say it's dirty. Don't put it in your bag. <laughs> now I'm gonna put that bag in my bag. Okay. Oh, oh. It's gonna protect the bag. Good. Good. I'm. I'm, I'm glad. Double bagged up on a Wednesday night. And, um, I guess I'll go back to town. My. Very sad that nobody cared about <laughs> our efforts. I mean, you were trying to... You, you did outside of town and in hopes to lure a judge. In hopes to trick a judge. Yeah, but nobody cares. It's, it's one of those things of the judge not caring. I understand, but he's no. he's hurt that nobody cared. Fine. Nobody <laughs> cared about the explosion outside the town, so you, it's you fine. See, you see some weird fingerprints on it, as if a kid played with it at some point. <laughs> the kid played with it and reburied it in exactly the same fucking spot. Yep. Just poked it and left. No, they they. Tossed it like a ball. Here and there. Um, Your efforts brought child a child joy. Ew. That's <laughs> not what it was meant for. <laughs> oh my god, first it's nobody paid attention to it, then he's upset that someone did pay attention to it. I yeah. spent a lot of energy putting into that thing. I can't just fucking for it to win be, with this crab, man. Just for it to only bring joy to a child? Ugh. Yeah. God forbid a child has fun. Not in this household. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, after I pick it up, and go, I want to go back into town, but I also want to talk around town. Um, if I don't remember if there's a Brotherhood sect here, I want to know if there's a Brotherhood sect here. Oh, the, the, you'll remember. I'm not going to make you roll for it. You'll remember <laughs> it. This this is the place where uh, you're walking down the street, and... Uh, you remember the church where uh, you saw Molenkamp that one time before she led you inside and broke your legs? Mm. Okay. You know, just, just a completely normal statement to come. Well, I mean, I don't, re I don't remember the book. You remember no, the street I, at least. I, do. I, yeah, remember I remember you coming out looking fucking wild. Motherfucker acted like nothing happened. Good to know. There is brotherhood here, yes. That's correct. Oh, uh, Doc, did you want to know what hunts are in the area? Mm, sure. Alright, so. The current hunts in the area. Uh, there is the ringworm in Rhoda Jungle. And the next closest is... The Vorpal Vorpal Bunny in the Arcades Highlands. 
Or the okay. Atomos in the Marshes of Rivencrag. Okay. Any of them seem interesting or no? Well, I'm missing half my party to talk to, so I'm going to pass for now. Oh, okay. Where would you two like to meet up? Knowing both of our social capabilities. The probably. Bar. What? Pro probably on the boat. I was going to say, I'd be heading back to the airship. <laughs> okay, perfect. Listen, if I could drink, I would go to the bar, but I made a fucking promie. You promie. All right. yeah, I made a stinky promy. Yeah, you did. Did you learn your lesson? No. You're eventually both on the bow. What would you um, like? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm assuming you're going to ask what what would we like to do. Yes. Or discuss. I or mean, whatever. I was going to say, I mean, I picked up the stuff. I might as well just start going to go make those measures. I don't remember. Did we set the, the tinkering station was underneath, wasn't it? On the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's on top. It's yeah, it's just it's just my alchemy station up here, right? Yeah, yeah. you gotta go down the stripper pole. All right. Have fun. Bye. Have fun on the stripper pole. <laughs> it's not the it's not the going down the stripper pole that's going to be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's potentially getting up. Great. Uh, well, Uru, what do you want to do? Um. Well, while he's crafting, can I try to learn things? Yeah. We have we have books and stuff. Yeah, what would you like to learn? Yeah, don't let me touch those books. <laughs> um, <laughs> We've learned our lesson. We have. There's the uh, how to learn instruments. All right. Uh, and I'm going to be using the funny little gadget that Waylon made me, all which right. is going to feel real bad since it's a recreation of Liamon. It's a bad recreation of Liamon. He specifically said he doesn't know what Liamon looks like, so it doesn't look like Liamon actually. It was an attempt. That's true. Oh, so it's a ha. Fuck you, Liamon. <laughs> oh, basically. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's see how long Doc's crafting takes first, then. Uh, Doc, what are you making, exactly? Um, I mean, I'll be making a tier 1 and a tier 3 measure. Alright, which one do you want to do first? Uh, I mean, we can start with a tier one. All right, uh, tier one measure. Here we go. Uh, are you putting any abilities on it? Uh, yes. It's a tier one measure with cure, uh, magic plus one and accuracy plus ten. So I guess the first ability would be cure. Okay. Uh, in that case, roll me a, uh, tinkering, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, tinkering plus 40. Uh, 83. 
with a 140. Hey, that's a success. As, gosh, what do I have for critting on measures? As we all know, measures work a little differently. If your initial measure craft is a critical success, you can choose not to increase the damage calculation if you wish. Uh, measure abilities activate at the same rate as strike abilities for most other weapons. This means they activate at 60% chance. If you're high quality of, me of measure uh, ability, then a it's a uh, ninety percent instead. So it is. I'm assuming you do not want me to increase the damage. Correct. So that's what a cure at ninety percent then. Yep. Cool. All right. I'm. You're writing these down right because I'm not. Uh, not, not QB, I'm talking to Lux, sorry. Should have been specific. I'm working on getting rid of the materials. Okay. Uh, so it's a high quality, regular tier one measure? Yep. Um, and then the next ability is magic plus one. All right, magic plus one. That is going to be a tinkering plus 20. A 32. So that wow. is also high quality. That is high quality. So that has magic plus two. And then accuracy plus 10. All right. Accuracy plus 10. Da, da, da. There it is. Uh, tinkering with no modifier. Okay. That's still a high quality. That is still high quality. I rolled a 30. What I'm benefiting from raising my skills. That's a 12, right? 12 plus 12 accuracy. Uh, this... Yes, one fifth. So that would be 12. Okay. And then the tier three one with the first ability being sprint. All right. Tier three sprint is tier one. So tier three give. Do you want to build them separately or together? Lux, do you think I should just do them together or separate? Together is fine. I was going to say, it's your measure, so I'll do it however you want. Um, it's, so, you want me to do them together? Yeah. Okay, together. Alright, tinkering plus 20 then. That is a 65, so that is still high quality. Alright, that is a crit, so that it sprints is prox at 90%. Uh, do you want the damage to be increased? I'm assuming not. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming not. That's fair. No no damage increase. Okay. And then the next one is speed. Alright. Uh, speed is tier 2, so give me a, a tinkering plus 10. It is a 59 out of 110. All right, it procs at 90%. And then the last one is blank. Blank. Blink. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, did I say it weird? Uh, I heard blank. Ah, uh, no, blink. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, that is a tier three, so give me uh, tinkering minus 20. It is a 55 out of an 80. All right. It does proc on 60%, but you have. Sorry, I couldn't get that last one high quality. That one was a little bit of a, a taller order there. Um.
So the first one took almost 20 hours to make, and the second one took a little over 32 hours. What? The dice. Was, yeah, there was a reroll, but the dice didn't show up. What the? Oh! I forgot to open the application that has them show up. <laughs> Real quick, hold on, and then I'll do the roll. All right, that means it should be up. What do you mean? What do you mean something went wrong? I guess we're just not allowed to reroll. That's inconvenient for being a. There we go. 66. You made it worse! <laughs> Okay. Well, it wasn't a fail, because that would have been a botch. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, he was re-rolling it to try and get high quality, and he made it worse than what I rolled initially. It's true. By 11. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so that's going to take a little over four days to do, unless you want to craft through sleeping. No. Okay. No, I learned my lesson. Okay. Uh, so, Lux, you're going to be using the gadget. Uh, are you going to be spending all five days that, uh, Pepper's, oh, sorry, uh, Doc <laughs> is going to be crafting for? <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, right. Pepper just got Final Fantasy XIV named. You sure did. Uh, QB, I do have a bit more, um, reference. I was taking off all the materials for it, and we needed to buy some stuff. Did oh, I miss stuff? Yeah, it's gems. Mm. Uh, 15 tier 1, 5 tier 2, and 1 tier 3. Okay, we'll get to I, that in I a second. Okay, that's fine. I guess I just missed that because they weren't on the request over there. Sorry. Uh, so you said you want to learn instrument, right? Yes. All right. So instrument is learned. Uh, or I forgot if I asked if you're taking the full five days. I'm taking as much as I can. All right. Oh. Of the time. It, it could take the entire time. Uh, it is entirely possible that uh, Doc gets done with some of it and is like, wait a second, have to go back into the town. So you can finish at the same time. Okay. Uh, this means that it will be an inquiry with no modifiers. Should I just roll a d100 since it's a gadget? Yes. Yay! The gadget is for uh, rating a 40? It's... Yes. Alright, fantastic. That will be... Uh... You learn it. Uh, what rating does it go up to? 20. 20? Well, unless I go with... You said it's, it's default, right? Uh, yeah, default or 20. Yeah, I don't think my magic of uh, 11 default is, is going to be better than a 20. Uh, I think 20 is default if your stat is 10. Yeah. My stats four for magic. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, that's what the you default was 11, 11, not the okay. stat. Okay, I thought you were saying the stat was 11. Okay. No. <laughs> if only. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I can see why you have a gadget for inquiry. 
Uh huh. And why he keeps doing stupid stuff like trying to tackle people. Yep. Tackle dreams. He's not a very smart crab man at the moment. That's that's fair. Uh, Doc, can you give me a strength check? No modifier. <laughs> okay. Um, before I do that, yeah, I have a dumb question. Yeah, because I haven't changed my like I haven't like looked at my default for a while. How do you figure that out real fast? Because I've raised my strength. Oh, uh, it's gonna be half of the rating. Oh, it should be way higher then. Okay. It's at it's at thirty nine. It should be forty four. Oh, okay. All right. Didn't you get the still climb though. I thought you created last time. I mean, I do have this skill of climb. Oh, you do? Okay. Uh. Yeah. Remember, I crit. I did not remember that. Uh, in that case, give me a climb. Still no modifier. Still no modifier. I'm nope. I'm staying down there. Alrighty. Cool. <laughs> uh. <laughs> can I try rolling again? You can. I don't know if you want to call up to Uru while he's busy, uh... Nope. Okay. I have too much pride to beg for help. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, hey QB. Yeah. Where are the vital parts of the ship? Like, in terms of on the floor I'm on, are there parts of the ship that I... that, that are super vital to the ship working correctly? What, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> is there a part in the hull of the ship where there is nothing that in, that that would affect how the boat flies? I mean, most of the floorboard that you're on? Why? I'm specifically talking about the sides. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, where well, there aren't any gears usually. Great. Um, I'm going to pick a spot that's like the furthest away from the gear, so I assume it would be like right here. Yeah. And I am going to make it explode. Not not huge, just enough for me to get out. All right, roll me an explosives. No modifier. Oh no no! It was close to a botch, but it wasn't. Well, at least it wasn't. Yeah, you're able to make a controlled explosion, which Uru definitely hears. <laughs> Uh, I guess I will go investigate. Great. Um, through the hole that I made, I'm going to walk off the boat. And I'm going to go climb onto the top deck. <laughs> Alright, give me a climb. Here now. Uh, do I have to, like... I don't have to, I don't have to climb to get on the boat, do I? No, no. Were you being just, not... just a little, a little, a little, a little, a little guy? Were you being uh, just a little was, a jester? I was being a jester. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Because I was gonna say that'd be fucked up, man. It sure would be. Uh, so, what is the materials that you needed to get again? One, two, three. One, two, three, five, two, two, and fifteen, two. And that's... which they have all of it. And that's gems, right? Yes, we had all the regular materials, and we have yeah. this one, so it's just the gems. I'm okay. sorry, I didn't know that we didn't have the gems. Okay, one, two, three, how many tier twos? Uh, five. Uh, five. And how many tier ones? Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh wait, no, this works great, because I'm going back into town to buy these, right? Yeah. Great, um, <laughs> can I... Look around town for someone to um, potentially uh, help with the hole in our boat now. Uh, <laughs> what would it take to make something to fix it without, like, hiring I'm, somebody? I'm specifically looking for someone to make, like, the blueprint for a 
door so I can put a door on the boat in the bottom. Because I can make that if I'm tinkering, right? If I have someone make the uh, the actual blueprint for me. Yeah, yeah, with Invent, yeah. You can do that. Yeah, have someone else make it, because I don't have Invent. Okay. I want someone to make the blueprint so that I can craft the actual door. Okay. Hopefully before Uru sees the huge hole in the boat. <laughs> Yeah, you're able to go to the hunting guild where you can find law services. Great. Uh, there you will find. You come across a Moogle who's at the bar, uh, watching the Ulema game. Ah, Koopa. Um. Can I? Can I bother you for a second? Huh? What for? Um, I'm just looking for someone who maybe knows how to invent stuff. Ah. Like, can write blueprints. Well, you came to the right place. I can write blueprints. Um, okay, great. Um, so, due to completely unrelated circumstances, there is a hole in our airship. Ah. And I'm looking for a blueprint to potentially maybe put a door there. A door? Yes. And your airship? Yes. So you can walk through it? That's... That's what doors are for. Ah! Yeah, I could probably do that. Okay, that would be great. What uh, what kind of door are you look? What are you thinking of? Um, the 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 kind of door that opens. I don't know how to answer that question. Well, uh, what, do you have any particular style in mind that you want? Do you? Do you want it to look like a, a thatched door with straw? Do you want it to look like a, like a big like naval door with like a big wheel I, handles? Do you want it to look like a, like a bathroom stall door? The the second one sounds the most fitting, and also. The one that would be least likely to fly off if we're flying in this airship. The bathroom stall door? Um, no. Uh, no. Okay. No, the naval door. The, the naval, naval door. door. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's a little inappropriate, but okay. I could probably uh, uh, draw something for you. Yeah. Oh. Pulls out a bottle of ink and starts putting it on his hands. Do you have a piece of paper? Um. Um. The doc is just staring at the, <laughs> the hands he's drawing on. Um. No. Oh, well, I got this napkin right here. And he puts his hand down onto the napkin. And uh, you'll see that it's completely covered by the blue handprint ink. Uh, it's, just, it's just a handprint on the yeah. napkin. Yeah. Um. Well. Here, I don't think that's a door. Here's my blueprint. <laughs> he hands you the napkin. I'm gonna take the napkin. I'm going to stare at it for what feels like a long time um, <laughs> before I throw it back at him. This is not what I'm looking for, and I think you know that. As you look up from the napkin, you see that he is diligently writing on a piece of paper. Oh, that distracts you very long. Um, yeah, I'll have you a, a actual door schematics in a jiffy. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Ha-ha! Um, as, <laughs> as soon as he's done saying you're welcome, I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Guild shop and I'm going to try and buy a book on Invent. All right. <laughs> go back to the shop. The uh, Rev is still there. Oh, I see you're back. Hi, welcome back. Thanks, I forgot some stuff. Oh, uh, well, I also forgot to tell you, and this will be, uh, I am announcing this now, uh, that there will be a new bonuses to higher tier hunting guilds party starting season seven. Okay. That being uh, changes in tier four to tier nine hunting guilds. While tier three hunting guilds currently have a 10% off on board communication, gadgets, and tools, uh, tier four, I guess that was, I added the tools for Nexus as well, because I realized it was a little pricey, but uh, tier four uh, will have 10% off price for all crafting materials. Tier 5 will have plus 10% gill on selling crafted items. Uh, changes. Uh, 6 is the same. Uh, 7, 10% off onboard communication gadgets and tools. Tier 8 is 25% off on all crafting materials. And Tier 9 is plus 25% gill on selling crafted items. Okay. I will note that down. Yeah, it, it's mostly stuff that's useful for future seasons. But, uh, yeah, what are you looking for? Um, do you have a book on learning how to invent stuff? That's a good question. That's a good question. Let's find out. He, uh... Goes onto the desk and is like, ah, oh, uh, what tier do you need? Are beginner? You beginner. All right. Uh, it looks like, oh, wait. It looks like we do. That will be 300 gil for a beginner uh, inventing. Okay, I'm going to give the, pay the 300 gil. All right, and here is your book. Thank you. I also, I also need some gems, and then you know I'll buy the ones that we went through. All right, perfect. So that's addressed. Um, Great. Do you want the? Do you want to see if I have more inventing uh, books? Sure. All right. Let's see if we have the next tier of inventing books. 60 should be. Uh, yeah. It would be 750 gil. I like to imagine that this guy is like sitting here like, let's see if we have the next one. Yeah, 60 should. <laughs> Just saying that to himself. <laughs> he's like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. If, um, I, if I was to own a bookstore, I'd definitely keep D100 on me at all times. So that's when <laughs> someone's like, hey, do you have any uh, Dr. Seuss? I'd be like, Oh, yeah, let's see. Yes. Yes, we should. I think that would also be equally funny if you did that in a bakery. Oh, that'd be so funny. Do we do we have any donuts? Oh, sorry, that's 100. We don't have any donuts. We're fresh out, and there's, like, a case in front of you. Ooh, 28. We got your favorite kind. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I'll buy, the, I'll buy the second one, too. All right, perfect. And uh, after wanna, buying those... Do you want to the third ones in stock? No, I think I'll start with these two. Okay. All right. They might Thank you, stock. anyway. You're welcome. How much was the second book, sorry? 750. 750. Oh, wait. Is it learned? It's Invent learned and bold. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, add a 1,000 to the... Let's see. A total of a thousand? Yes, a total of a thousand. 
Because they are, if they are learned, that's an extra 500 each. Oh, gotcha. Um, I mean, once I'm finished buying those, then I'll go back to the, the, the Moogle. All right. You go back to the Moogle, and you see that he is now watching uh, the Chocobo races. Ah, oh, man. Lost another five gil. Jeez, where am I going to get some gil? It sounds like you have bad luck. Oh, uh, well, not not with doors. I made this specifically for you. And he hands you over a piece of paper with uh, schematics for a door. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, could could you spare a uh, five hundred? Sure. For the services. <laughs> sure. And my alcohol problem. <laughs> Don't I know that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll put. I'll, I'll give him five hundred gil. Thank you so much, apparently, Chupo. Apparently, I'm going on a shopping spree today. Yay! Um, cool, thanks for the the schematics, and I'm just going to start leaving. You're welcome. Have a good day. I'm going to head back to the boat. Um, to continue my tinkering, which also involves me having to walk past Huru after he heard an explosion. <laughs> All right, yeah, you uh, you walk back to the boat. Uh, do you go in through the wall that you made, or? Uh, no, I'm gonna specifically walk past Uru and go down the hole. Okay. Uh, Uru, how do you respond? <laughs> that there was rumbling, and then like hours later, Doc comes back from the top. Yeah. I mean, I'm still learning, right? Uh, yeah, it'd still be, it'd be, like, in the middle of everything. Not the learning to do. I just won't care. <laughs> Alright. Cool, I'm back in the bottom deck, baby! Alright. Do you wanna do? You, do you wanna make this store uh, at the end of? Well, the I have to finish. I was gonna say yeah. After I'm finished crafting the the measures, yeah, I probably would start making the door. <laughs> all right. Uh, at the end of it all, uh, Uru, are you going to be going down to the basement uh, <laughs> when you're yeah. done learning? Yeah. Well, I'll good slide news. down the stripper pole. Good news, you slide down the stripper pole, uh, you see that your measures are complete, but there's a giant hole uh, right here in the airship. Well, what happened? I'm fixing it, don't worry about it, nothing, it's not important. How are you fixing it? Well, it, I'm putting in a door. We're going to have a door now. I, could, I was having trouble climbing up the pole, okay? Well, you can't just have this super low on our ship security thing. Why I'm making a door! Um. Be. Yeah. Um. With this door that's being made, I want to, uh. make a trap for the door. I want to make a security system for that door. Okay. Well, I mean, I have to make the door first. It has to be installed first before you'll be able to do that. 
We've been making the plans now. Um, oh, so, okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry, sir. So, um, well, we, I don't want to injure somebody necessarily, but I want to know who fucking did it. What I want to do is I want to come up with a trap that will s- basically swing down and hit them with a uh, glitter bomb. So they become covered in glitter. Oh. So then if we notice that our door is open, we can just go around town cool. looking so for somebody doing, covered in glitter. You're doing this with the boat with the most notorious fuck-up. <laughs> you're expecting me not to get glitter bombed at least once. <laughs> you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are you uh, doing this in front of Doc so that he's fully aware, or...? Yes. Uh, if also possible, I would like to make it a bypass that we know of. So it is possible to like. So sure, there's probably a disarming mechanism that people could do by using the bypass, but I want to make it to where we can go in without a problem, while other people will get glitter mobbed. Okay. Okay. Uh. Honestly, I was expecting uh, you to say that you want a giant mallet to swing in. <laughs> a giant anvil just boom! <laughs> Fucking Looney Tunes ass shit on our boat, huh? Exactly, yeah. I mean, to be fair, if if we were trying to rig a glitter bomb, I could just <laughs> help him with that too. Hey, can you make me a tier one bomb that's instead of smoke bomb, it's a glitter bomb? <laughs> it's glitter! Yeah. I mean, I can. All right. You're going to have a stack of 10 glitter bombs, but I can. Well, that just means whenever they get used, we can replace them. Or set up traps later. All right. Since you want there to be a, a safety mechanism so that you can go through the door without activating it. Uh, give me a traps minus 10. It's my first time using traps in a long time. I was going to say, it's definitely not your first time using traps in a long setting, time, yes. Setting up a trap, it's, I believe, the first time. No. When did I set up a trap? We did the... With the sky stone. I'm... Yeah, literally. We what talked tra- about it earlier. Well, nobody yeah. got trapped. Nobody got trapped, but you still had to set it up. That's true. I succeeded. Congratulations, you succeeded. It's <laughs> going to be a very good trap. Uh, the two of you know exactly how to get around it. And anyone that tries to go inside and doesn't know that it's there, doesn't check for traps, they're going to get glitter bond. I'm uh, perceiving this trap to be set up like the Home Alone pink can trap, but instead it's a glitter bond. That's fair. Uh, Doc, do you want to roll the explosives on this? Sure. Okay. No modifier? No. Oh, yeah. It's a great glitter bomb. Yeah. I just didn't know if it would be a crit or if, uh, somehow you got that 5%. True. Yeah. But it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good glitter bomb. It's a pretty good glitter bomb. All right. Did we, get t- uh, did we get 10 glitter bombs? Well, no, because I didn't actually craft the bombs. Okay. Yeah. If I crafted the bombs, I would have used alchemy. Okay. Yeah. So we got one glitter bomb. So if somebody tries to get into it, they're going to be highly inconvenienced. Yeah. I mean, do you want me to Do you want me to craft backups? I can see if QB wants us to craft backups. Depends on how much QB is going to have people with glitter bombs. <laughs> you know how fucking funny it would be if, if, if we got in trouble with the judges and they just tried to sneak it through this door just glitter bomb them. That'd be very funny. Get, That'd be very funny. I think they just, would be very pissed. You just get mad at Finn Daniel and you throw a glitter bomb at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have fun getting that out of your armor, dumbass! Okay. Um, yeah, most of them don't but, even need doors. So, if you get the one that does, that'd be especially funny. 
Um, do I need to roll anything to actually make the door? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, ba, ba, ba. Also, how much metal will that take? I didn't actually ask that before I left town. Shit. It, it's going to take we, we uh, 100 crafting points. It does, does the crafting points have to be of the same tier? It does not, if you don't want it to okay. be. It's more of a, I'm looking at what we have in our inventory. Yeah, you can so, definitely, you can definitely right. say like, all right, this, the big frame is going to be of this material. The hinges are going to be of this material. The giant comical wheel is going to be of this material. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure that we had them. We have the tier two metal that we can use for it. Okay. Uh, how complex do you want it to be? I'd say that given that it's a door, it has hinges, you're using the whole like locking mechanism of, uh, of a ship. Uh, I'd say a minimum of three. I was going to say, I'll make it as complex as I need to make it. It's kind of like, um, I'm not going to go like overboard and make it like super complex, just kind of what I need it to be to do its job. Does that make sense? Yeah. Bare minimum, I guess. Okay. Uh, you... Functional. Okay. Uh, you can have it be three, uh, or if you want uh, some complexity so that it it's even more of a challenge for people to break in, it could be a six. Um, I... Lux, do you want me to make it more complex so that it's harder for people to break in? Yeah. Okay. All right. In that case, uh, it is going to be 60 working hours and a tinkering modifier of zero. Bitch, you better keep reading then, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm here for a while. Because I am not repeating what we did last time. Not gonna craft all sixty hours in one sitting. You said tinkering with no mod. Yes. This is a fifty. All right. Uh, yeah, you do an excellent job. Do you want to add any paint to it um, to give it artistic merit? No. Okay. I don't. <laughs> I'm. I'm... <laughs> I'm not very artistic. I think it's okay. Okay. Well, Uru, you have five days to do whatever you want. You can... <laughs> uh, you can ride your chocobo, uh, level it up some. You can... Uh, you can learn stuff. I would like to go to the store to buy a book. We have books at home. We hey, we're all just books. buying books, huh? We got books we're at buying home. Buying so many books. Okay. Not we're the one books one I need. Different books. Okay. My books aren't good enough for Uber Six. I guess. Also, um, are we just straight up buying my cooking tool? That's up to you. I can, I, I can make it if you want. It's you just want gonna be a to lot longer. Do you want to add? It I to would the like list? to learn and vent sometime in this fucking month. All right, so I'm just gonna buy it then. Okay. Uh, you do indeed buy it. Uh, I'm gonna okay. step away from this computer for super quick. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna put my cooking station. On the sheet for four thousand. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh. What are you buying? I'm buying the 
skillet slash pot. I'm buying some exceptional cooking tools. All right, that's 4,000 gil. This was bands. I was gonna say, we're just blasting through the money we have. And then I want to look for a cooking level two. All right, a cooking level two. Uh, let's see if we have it. He pulls out a D100 and rolls it. Ah, 48, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. love that. I love that we're making that cannon now. Yeah, uh, we have a cooking level two. Uh, cooking is that learned? Yes. All right, that is going to be twelve hundred and fifty gil. Here you go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, uh, do you want to know if we have the third level of it? No, I got it. Oh, uh, did, uh, um, uh, uh, do you want to know if we have the fourth level of it? Is it, is it Rutan cooking? Uh, it can be. It might. That's not convincing at all. He's mad at this. I really want to roll my dice, please. Fine. All right. 44. Oh, I'm going to have to check under the desk. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I have it. It's, uh, it's going to be 8,500. Uh, sorry, uh, 8,000 gil. But I got it. He pulls out a book and waves it. Out of care. Fine with this guess, right? How much was it? 8,000. That's fine. I'm being super expensive. Yeah, you're, you have spent more money than I have with this one book. Here you go. Yippee! Do you want to know if we have learning for, uh, uh, etiquette or any languages? No. I was going to oh, say, are you calling, no. are, you, are you calling him rude? I just want... <laughs> the shopkeeper's calling you rude. <laughs> you need you a book on based. etiquette? Huh? It's very based. It's fine. What, I don't what? like hearing you say based in this way, based. actually. Based. I don't like it. <laughs> how how about um uh, writing? Do you have writing? I already know how to write. Animal handling. Mm. Climbing? Disguise. Escape. Intimidation? No, you're pretty intimidating. Uh, repair. Uh, acrobatics? Uh, cudgels. Do you, do you need to know how to cudgels? No. I have so many books. I mean, you could just release some of your books. I could lease them up. Oh, what if... What if I opened uh, an establishment where I just give people books with the expectations that they learn stuff and then hand it back so that I could lease it out to other people? And people can get memberships and learn live trade skills? Yes. We're gonna have books everywhere. We could call it a bookery. Nah, I don't think it'll last. Oh. Well, okay then. Dream crushed, already forgotten. Goodbye. Don't quit your day job. I almost did. Thanks for telling me not to. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Well, do you have anything else that I can help you with? 
Um. Oh. Well, okay then. Well, uh, I hope you have a wonderful well, rest of your day. Thank you for coming to the Bravania uh, Guild. Guild, uh, Monster Hunting Guild Hall. Thanks. Do you want to know of any, uh, hunts or jobs? Sure. What job you got? Oh, um. Unfortunately, we've been clean out of, uh, jobs. But we got hunts! Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, have fun then. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> and with that, we're going to take a short 5, 10, 50, 20 minute break. Where when we come back, uh, I got, I'm going to ask you both the question, if you would describe yourself in one emotion, what emotion would that be? We'll be back, and uh, we'll probably have some fun. I don't know. We'll see. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Steal the Skies. We got Little Buff Boys. Little Buff Boys. Buff Boys. Love it. Great. And, uh, yeah, last time I left you all with a question. Do you remember what the question is? Something, something, emotion, something, something. You, you heard it all on boat one. Yes. If I, you were... I, to be fair, I didn't, and I don't remember. You know what? That's fair. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, if you would describe yourself in one emotion, what emotion would that be? Like uh, us, the player, or us, the character? The, the character. What emotion would you, the character, describe yourself? Uh, Yosefer, what emotion would Doc describe himself? Now? Yeah, right now, as we were talking. Melancholy. Mm, melon. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot how it was spelled, so I just have it spelled, <laughs> uh, Melancholi. It's, it's, it's not spelled that way. Ah, oh, shame. It's M-E, it's M-E-L-A-N. Oh, what a shame. C. Uh, nope. Luxio okay. Cool, is... I actually know how to spell something, and he ignores me. If Uru would describe himself in one emotion, what emotion would that be? Right now. Right, right now, now, right now. Now, like now, now. Guilt. Guilt? That's fair, because of all the spending that you've been doing. I get yep, it. Yep, definitely the spending. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so last we left off, you've been on a. Oh, yeah. Uh, Doc's busy crafting a door. Uru, yeah, I what sure would you am. Like to do? Well, I got convinced to buy all these books, so I guess I should do some of that. Probably. Will there be enough? Will there be enough time afterwards for me to do a little bit of cooking? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna take learning. Uh, the door's gonna take five crafting days, so. <sighs> Fine, I'll just. Doing my five days in the life. Take as little penalty as I can. 
All right. Uh, the five days. Uh, so you, which uh, skill are you going to be increasing? Uh, cooking to two. Cooking. All right. That is going to be a uh, inquiry with no modifier. I'm using tools, so four. All right. And I did it. You did it. You successfully. Uh, you're successfully learning it within the time frame. Uh. On the second day of you learning how to cook, you hear a very familiar sound of heels uh, strutting across uh, tile flooring right behind you. Right, right behind me? Right behind you. Okay. I am going to try to ignore it. Alright. You feel a, a fiery touch on your shoulder. Just a gentle... Just fingers gently touching your shoulder and you feel the heat okay i will now look behind the me there's nothing there okay. must have been your imagination Okay, hate it. Um, I will continue to read. Alright. The rest of your learning time, uh, you don't encounter anything weird. Are you going to curl up more in your bed as you read? Sure. Okay. Well, uh, it's the end of the five days. Congratulations. Your cooking has increased, and Doc made and installed a door. Oh, cool. The installation was part of that time. I mean, technically it was me, but whatever. Please don't also make me spend like five days installing the door. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. I can, like, the most I can imagine that is that it's like an afternoon activity you two can do together. Okay. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> okay. You two. Because, uh... We had some plans to talk about stuff, so technically this is the perfect time. Alright. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of afternoon installation activity for like... Uh, like when you bring a DIY uh, desk or something home and uh, you need someone to help hold, this, hold it up as you screw parts in. Uh, how serious is this talk going to be? Um, like a respite in the void kind of serious? Fairly serious. Okay. I'll use this song then. I was going to say, you started dropping song names, and I'm really bad at them, so I'm like, I don't know how to answer that question. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'll use this one since it, it's serious. It's a heart-to-heart -heart kind of a uh, song that we got. I'll let you two take it away. Heart-to-heart, -heart, yes. That's what's happening here. 
I don't know what it is. We sure are installing the door, huh? Sure are installing the door. <laughs> so, uh, are you, are you do, doing all right? Just been thinking the past few weeks. Well, I mean, it's not, I know that that's not an easy thing that you did. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Well. Now, you can decide what you want to do, and you don't have anyone telling you what to do. So, what do you want? I want to raise it all. Raise it all to the ground. Like... Like the city, because I I don't I don't think I can do that. No. Her her organization. Like you want to destroy all of it? I mean, possibly. many hooks and how fast it can bounce back it did seem very resilient but what if there are people that would leave if they could I think they can But if we, if we destroy it all, how would we know if they want to leave? I feel like as long as they have power, I'm always going to be looking over my shoulder. Okay. I mean... I, I get that. Um, okay. What would your... You know more about how it works than I do. What would your first... goal be with it? You gotta go small steps, just can't go all in at once. I'd like to make a stand against her. I'm sure that will not be... I mean... Right, but what it, do you have an idea on how to do that? I know that the city has its own influence of it here in the city. Okay. There's a church that they control. Okay, and are you... Are you saying you want to get rid of this church? What if we just... blew it up? Uh, 
That it's sure is like, that. That's an option, but and 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 if that's the way you want to do it, I will help you. But I have one rule on this. There needs to be no innocent people inside of it. I just would hope that's in a message of defiance. And 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 I again I will help you with it, but we need to make sure that there's no people that aren't affiliated with the Brotherhood in there. I get that. That's that's my one rule. Otherwise, I will help you do this. I, I can make agreements to that. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Figure out a way to sneak explosives in town. Do the help on that. I'm thinking our best bet is going to be carrying the individual materials separately, and then I can try and make them some. That's the best idea I got. Unless you have a better way. Not specifically. Alright, well, we can give it a shot. I can't promise that I'll be able to sneak it in, though. I've never tried doing it before. I mean... I don't see why they wouldn't let these materials in, considering there's a hunter's guild that you can buy them from. Right. I just don't know exactly where you'd be able to make it. We can we can take a stroll around town and case the joint and see if there's somewhere. Okay. About the best thing I can think of. Can can you do me a favor on top of this? I can try. We're just gonna put his head down for a moment before finally looking back up at Doc as he, like, fully reveals his messed up on me. Can you figure out what they did to me? I, I can, I can try my best. I, again, I can't really promise anything, but I'll I'll look at it. Um, you're like holding the arm out. Yeah. Are we still working on the door? I think we're still working on the door. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Um. I, I, I will look at it. Um, I think we should finish installing this door first, and then I can look at it. Because I'm imagining that Uru is holding out his his uh, messed up arm, and Doc is frantically trying to keep the door from, like, falling off the hinges again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just like, hey, like, Sure, but not now. So um, many stipulations with you, gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to kill innocent people, and I'm kind of trying not to get flattened by a door. Not even that many stipulations. 
Sorry. Um, I think that was the end of the talk, wasn't it? I don't think I had anything else to discuss. Um, I mean, we could probably, whatever we do, shift over to arm. We can do anything more that needs to be done. True. Oh, you mean when we're not busy trying to install a door? Yeah. 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 Probably a good idea. Alright, uh, your tinkering's at 100, right? Uh, mine? Doc? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, yeah, you can install the door. Install the door since you made it yourself, uh, without having to do any rolls. Cool. And... Would you like to look at his arm now? Um, I mean, I'd probably go to the, like, second deck where we actually, like, oh, have seating. Um, I I'm sorry, did we just install a door for no fucking reason? <laughs> I mean, you can climb up if you want to. I'm not going to stop you from doing that. I'm using... I'm using the door we just fucking painstakingly installed. It does have the glitter bomb on it now, right? Yes, yes it does. Right, but it also has the bypass and you told me how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to try to climb out because I got this fun little grappling hook from Waylon. And I just want a grappling hook my <laughs> You're like, I want to do it at least once, please. Alright, roll, roll for the grappling hook. Anyway, I'm going... I'm going all the way around into the second. I deck. sure did. Congratulations, yeah. Uh, Doc, you go all the way around. Uh, Uru, yep. you. Uh, I take the long way. Uru, you grapple hook up. You want to do it in the bedroom or you want to do it in the alchemy area? Uh, I mean, probably the alchemy area because these look like seats, right? Uh, yeah. All right, uh, so you pull out your arm from the sleeve. Uh, do you show, like, it completely exposed? Yes. All righty. Uh, there is uh, uh, a shadow magic mist that is uh, permeating from the arm. The, uh, can you, Doc, roll me first a healing check? Okay. No modifier? No modifier. Uh, yes. 66. Yeah. With an 84. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, you can tell that, uh, with close inspection, you can see that there are, uh, cracks in the... Uh, carapace of the arm uh, there, where there has been multiple points, multiple times of it being shattered and then rehealing. Uh, at this point in time, it looks like everything is in a healed state. Oh. Let's heal this corner. Jeez. Okay. Um. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Uru, do you mind if I, um, try and maybe draw some blood from the arm? Under one stipulation. <laughs> Okay. Can we stop calling me Uru and call me Gary? Okay. 
but you have to go with Garrett. I can call yeah. you anything you want and you want Garrett. Preferably with two R's and two P's, yeah. Okay. Okay, Garrett. Um, can we, can, do I just, like, if I want to, like, draw blood to, like, try and test it, do I need to roll anything for that? Um. I would assume since I'm, like, a doctor, I would have the stuff to do that. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, that'd be another healing with no modifier. Okay. Oh, I'm not taking that, actually. Hold on. I, I refuse. Of all the times. Yeah, I refuse. <laughs> oh, a two. Perfect. I'm so good. The first time was a fluke. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so you are trying to get the... Uh, needle through the carapace uh, you struggle a little bit uh, and you just find right where you need to go and uh, you draw some blood does it look weird or does it look normal it looks normal for what Get for it, her tongue. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now I get to make you work more and ask if I want to try, like, just testing to see if I can figure anything out about the arm. What would that entail? Uh, what specifically are you? Uh... I, I, I'm just at this point. I'm. Casting a wide net to figure out if I can figure out anything. I don't. I, I don't have anything specific that I'm looking for right now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh. Just trying to see if I can figure out something. Through with that. Uh. Yeah. Definitely with that too that you got. Uh. Everything. You know what? Yeah. You find that uh, you find that uh, the cells in Garrett's body has aged considerably. Uh, the uh, what you're able to find through the testing that you do, it takes some time, but uh, Garrett should be a lot older than he is. Oh, okay. Um. The he, uh... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. The cells would denote that he's closer to, like, 15 or 17. Or at least should be. Okay. Hey, hey, Garrett. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, I, I mean. I don't specifically know, but she said that I was 17, 16 whenever she first, whenever I first remembered having been told in age. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this, doing this testing would be a lot easier if I knew more about your return. Maybe, hmm. Maybe afterward, 
we're done with what you want to do. Maybe, maybe we need to. Maybe I need to go meet with some 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 of those Uratan we met earlier. I I I might have to ask them some questions because they will know more about well you than I do. Didn't didn't really get a lot of Uratan in Rabinaster, you know. I'd like to go back. Well, we'll make that our next stop then, after we're done here. Hey, um, I'm sorry to interrupt the roleplay. Can I point out, um, Garrett only has 215 HP right now. Yeah. That's weird. I, I figured I should point that out, I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, no. Let me just delete them. Oh no. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> My existence. There you go. Wait. Wow, now you're dead naming him. <laughs> <laughs> you choose one or the other, you only have two hundred and fifteen HP or you get dead named. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll half my <laughs> HP. It's really weird it's doing that. There we go. There, well, no. No. <laughs> you no. still got 215. I have to 215 and 86 in P. Hey. There you go. It just took a moment. Congratulations! Do I need to have your MP HP? What? Uh, 162, right? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not really 100% sure what this means right now. But we will we will figure it out, I promise. Okay. I mean right now I don't really have any other any other tests I can really run. Uh, it's obvious. Also, I want to point out when I was drawing the blood, it was very obvious that I <laughs> I was very uncomfortable being around the shadow magic, just in general. Yeah, that's fair. You did have you were you did have a phobia for it uh, at the yeah of this and series and someone here caused me to have to get rid of it really fucking fast. I didn't make you anything. You tried to flashbang me with a shadow magic. Shut the fuck up. You could have just taken the flashbang. It's fine. No. Because you made me mad. Anyway, um... I mean, I probably would start gathering the crafting materials that I would need to take into town. All right. I'm going to go into town to case the church. Well, um, before you go into town, I'm going to hand you, like, some of them. Okay. Um, what would I need to essentially make a bunch of C4? I know you know the answer to this, because that's what Phil did. Phil used Nethysite for that, though. Uh, did he? I thought he used, uh, no, he used, he used explosives. He didn't use Nethysite. I thought he used Nethysite. No. It was a battery and something like that. Yeah, he didn't use Nephysite. Oh. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, well, what would it take for me to have to make explosives that I can plant around a church? Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, probably... A lot of spoils. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of spoils. Yeah. 
given the size of this church, you're probably going to want Uh, let's say, how controlled do you want the explosion? Um, I want it fairly controlled. I want it to be, essentially, I want it to only be the church. I don't want to damage any of the buildings nearby. Okay. Uh, it's... We would like it to look targeted. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. targeted uh, and not affect the buildings nearby and potentially hurt innocent people. Yeah. If you had... How much tier 4 spoils do you have? In total, or... Yeah. Um... I mean, I'm I'm sorry, Lux. I'm going to be including the stuff for your tier four measure. Nope. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm calculating. Oh, you're okay. Or do you have the? Did you get the TS bomb uh, drop from season five? Your answer is uh, ninety-eight tier four spoils. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. That doesn't sound familiar, so I don't think we did. Okay. No, we didn't. Uh, did you get any of the gems? What do you mean? Uh, there were... Sorry, uh, it was a firebomb. Uh, did you get the fire gem? No. The most we have is a bomb core. Bomb core. Alright. Uh, how many bomb cores do you have? I mean, we only have one, but I think there's still spoils in town that we can buy more if we need more. Yeah. Uh, I would say five bomb cores for the, uh, detonation. Okay. And five tier four spoils of your choice. Just five. Okay. Five tiers, four. Five tiers. Uh, yeah, it's on, it, I think that's what he was saying. It's uh, just five in general. Twenty-five. Because we get, because we got ninety-eight. 20, 20, Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, we already. Uh, I think. I think Lux already said that he was going to be casing the the church anyway. So I'll just go to the shop and try and buy the rest of the bomb cores we need. Okay. Uh, bomb cords are a tier one or two? Two. Alrighty. In that case, uh, to get four more, that will be uh, 20 crafting points of tier two. So that will be 60 gil. Okay. And so, uh, yes, when you uh, go back to the shop, you see the rev there is like, ah, oh, hi, welcome back. Are you here for books? I got books. Uh, nope, I don't need books. I need some bomb cores. Ah, well, uh, I can get you some bomb cores. I can also get you some uh, books on explosives. I can promise you I don't need that. I appreciate it, but I don't need it. I just want to give you everything that you need. I, I know I don't need a book on explosives. I'm practically an expert. Oh, do you want to teach a course on explosives then? No. Oh. 
that's knowledge for me, myself, and I. Oh, okay. Well, alright, here's your bomb course then. Thanks. Um, have you thought about maybe getting another job? Because you seem really sad. Well, I keep trying to uh, help people with books and learning things, and then people don't want to. Well, as much as I, I, I want everyone can, to learn everything they can. Can I offer a suggestion? You're doing it in a way that's a little bit too pushy. Too pushy. Yeah, just relax a bit. Okay, relax a bit. All right. And then what? And then when people show an interest, ask if they want anything else and don't assume that they're going to want the next level of the book. But don't you want to master everything that you know? In my own time. But for now, two books is more than enough. That's a long time. It's going to take a long time to read those two. You know, that's fair. That is a long time. You got a good point there. and You, got you a don't want to overload people. You know what? You got a good point. You got a good point. You got you, and you. You're a hunting party, so you got you got your own jobs and stuff you gotta do. Exactly. You know what? You're right. You're right. I'll do better. Good on you, and I'm gonna walk out. All right. You walk distracted out. him enough to get out of there without a longer conversation. <laughs> Ooh, you are currently staking out the uh, church. Correct. Uh, you will see that there are people coming in, people coming out. Uh, there are people that are followers uh, like on like uh, like people that help out with the with the brotherhood and uh, a lot of people that are just uh, just people that go for uh, lessons every once in a while roll me a magic check no modifier. Okay. Or magic? No. Your stat. Oh, like magic accuracy? <laughs> no. Or dark? No. The attribute. I love what you're, you're yeah. trying anything, man. Okay. I don't know what to roll. I truly don't know. Like the stat? Yeah, like the set. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. a regular magic trick. Yeah. No. It's right. in the 11. I forgot. I forgot. We talked about it, and I still <laughs> forgot. It's he should have talk about it. You hear footsteps on the cobblestone behind you. The very familiar tapping of a certain someone's walk circling around your backside. This could have been a lot easier. Leave me alone. Yeah. You think you're done with me? As we're seeing here. Sorry. I was done with you when you hurt my friend. <laughs> uh, I left you alone with him for too long. He made you soft. He made you weak. It's better to be soft than with you.
You know, I really did truly like you. It's, uh... It's just unfortunate. You're just gonna have to join everyone else. Join the Like I said, everyone else. She leans against the wall next to you and looks at the church. How many people do you think your explosives will kill? That's not the point. It'll happen though. Killing's in your nature. I made you that way. Whether you want to be or not. Good. It'll make me a little bit calmer to take you and all of your type out. That'd be pretty easy. There's only one that's like me. Good. I'm happy to slip their throat too. Why don't you just go in there and take care of business before your friend comes? Because that is not the point. So what, you just want to cause a little bit of, a little boom, a little destruction? Anything to inconvenience you. <laughs> You're adorable. That is what I love about you. To think that destroying one building would inconvenience me. I have eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah. Gotta pluck them out and slash them until there's no one. I'm sorry to hear about that. She's gonna pat you on top of your head. I'll miss you. Good luck. It is about this time that Doc comes around the corner to see Uru looking at the very looking at Trish. Very mad. Um, are you okay? Can, can I get one more promise from you? Oh, okay. Anything that has to do with her? And taking her down. Do not let me know. Do not let me be around. I am compromised. Okay. Also, this. I, I was just gonna point out the sprite. <laughs> this is the wrong name. Yeah, I just changed it. If it hasn't loaded yet, then. Uh, uh, no, it did. It okay. did. Yeah, I just noticed okay. it too. Oh, okay. She was here just now. Taunting. Uh, great. 
That's great. Um, well, I got the rest of the stuff I need. Are there people inside? Um, how much did I notice, QB? Uh, give me an awareness with no modifier to determine just how much, uh, she was able to distract you. Okay. So just normal, not negative from her distraction? I mean, you were intentionally staking it out, although she was getting you pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, but also, didn't he say that he wasn't looking at her, though? Or was that before? Am I stupid? Would he? Because I don't actually know if he specified if he looked at her, or if she got in his way. She didn't get in his way. Uh... She was honestly probably was distracted. Like could have been staring right at the door, little busy with somebody in his head. Uh, awareness minus twenty. Okay. You're a little distracted. <laughs> he wasn't that distracted. Not that distracted. No, not that Fuck you, distracted. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, mama. Uh, yeah, so there's only a few people in there. And are any of them, like, actual innocent people? Or are they brotherhood? Uh, you notice that there was some brotherhood that uh, were in there. There were some uh, converts, uh, some people that uh, weren't wearing any regalia. There, there still are a few in there. Okay. Uh, well, we need them out of there. Hey, Garrett, can you roll me a magic check? Just the magic stat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I did it. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> you remember when uh, you told Mullenkopf that uh, you'll slit their throats? Mm -hmm. uh, when Doc says that uh, you need the people out of there, your words reverberate back to you. Immediately. I don't know what to do. What do you, what do you mean? I, I don't know how to do it. Um, what would it, QB? Yeah. What would it take to 
Like, what materials would it take to craft a firework? Uh, gosh. Um... I was throwing you for a loop today. I'm so sorry. You sure are. Uh, I would say... Gosh. Like, I'm not looking for one that, like, a firework that specifically, like, is, like, one of the big ones. I'm specifically looking for a... You know the ones that, like, shoot up and, like, scream? Yeah. I'm looking for one of those. Uh, hmm. I'd say... Let's go with... Five spoils of your choice. The more... Uh, the better tier you use, the more uh, distracting it would be, the more okay. uh, spectacular. Okay. Secondary thought. What's your secondary thought? Uh, well, you see, if I use my steel ability, they know that they got stolen from by me. So I could just go in there, steal from them, losing the ability, not like pickpocket. I mean, so fair. they know that it, and then I run out. Fair, but my idea was shoot this in there because not only would it create a distraction, but it would also fill it with smoke where people would have to leave. So it kind of does a two birds one stone thing to make sure that everyone is out of there, otherwise they will choke. Um, I mean, it can be any, any spoil. Yeah. All right, I'm going to use a tier three one then. All right. That'd be five tier three spoils. Yes, uh, sir. Is it the toad mucus? Is it made it's, out of toad mucus? Please it is. It is. God. It absolutely is. Oh, nasty. Okay. <laughs> I needed a way for them to get out. If they don't get out because they got a, they have a fucking uh, church full of smoke and toad mucus, that's not my problem. I guess you got a point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a. Yeah, you're. Uh... Give me explosives. Uh, no modifier. Okay. 74. Okay, yeah. Uh, it is going to be thoroughly uh, an issue. Like, very distracting. Very much what you want it to do. Great. Is there a window near me? There I is. assume we're not right in front of the church. Uh, there is, yeah. Cool. Does the window Is the window, like, able to be opened? Yeah. Yeah, you could get... Uh, you can go inside and open the window. Oh, like I have to go in the church and open the window? Oh, uh, you're, op you're opening the church window? Yeah, I was trying to open the church window from the outside. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can open a church window from the outside. Great. I am going to... <laughs> I'm gonna... Like, because I'm assuming there's a window sill there, right, too? Yeah, there is. Cool, I'm going to position it directly there and then shoot it straight in the church. All right, well, got some good news for you. Uh, you, uh, you got it hooked up, you aim it straight into the church, and there is a loud explosion. Uh, sparks fly, uh, there is a lot of smoke, and then you hear from people that are coughing, uh, and you see people rushing outside as they are covered in toad mucus. It is disgusting. <laughs> Great. People um, are leaving. Fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Garrett and say, hey, I, can you? I'm gonna start working on the actual like explosives. Can you make sure that there's no one still in there? I will do my best. Okay. 
Uh, and then I'm going to start actually crafting the explosives to blow the building up. All right. Give me... Since they're going to be controlled, uh, mm -hmm. give me five explosives minus ten. Okay. Uh, QB, if it helps any on the crafting points we're using, we are using destructive fragments, electrifying fragments, and power sources. Okay. I'm going to re-roll that one. Forty-six. And that was three? That's three so far? Yes. Two forty-sixes. Nice. And then... Ooh. Oh, <laughs> All right. We almost had another rapid acid catastrophe is over this... here. I was going to say, is this going to be the first time where I do explosive and they actually go to plan? Yes. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking wild, dude. At least, uh, demolition explosives, yeah. Well, yeah, the Ravanaster one is demolition explosives, and the oil rig were demolition explosives. That's true. Uh, yeah, you rig it up. Sick. Uh, I'm gonna wait for Ever to come back. Sorry, Garrett. Sorry. Have it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen for a while, but, like, I'll do my best. Um, so... What do I need to do to make sure there are the innocent people that I saw out? So I saw some of them leave, right? Yeah, you saw some of them leave. Uh, are you going into the church to uh, make sure that there's no innocent people? I sure am. All right. Give me an awareness plus 20. Uh, I would like to note I'm going in the front door, by the way. Okay. You're not going I'm very aware. aware. What? I'm not going through the window. Well, that is... I'm making is, it very known. That is good, because you do see a teenager about 14 years old. Uh, they are a, uh, Sikh. You see him, uh, just in the corner trying to wipe off the mucus. It's just like, oh, this is so nasty. This is so gross. Follow me. Oh. I'm going to reach my arm out. Which arm? That's not really a question. If I'm reaching it out, there's a difference between me reaching it out and them just grabbing. Okay. Uh, uh, who are you? I'm Garrett, with two R's and two T's. God, I hate it! Fuck! Well, it's nice to meet you, Garrett. Uh, Come on. Oh, okay. I'm going to guide him out. Alright, you guide him out. And that was the last person you saw in the church. The, the non-brotherhood, because if it's brotherhood, I don't care. That was the only person you saw in there. Oh, okay. Yay, I got the civilian out. You did. Oh, well, I'm still waiting for the okay from you. You're getting the okay as soon as I get out with the guy. I don't know what our okay message was. Uh, it's okay called, there's nobody else in the building. Oh, I'm gonna loudly go, I think that's everybody. I'm exploding it. All right. Uh, Garrett, can you roll me an awareness minus 20 for me? Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, it is at this point. You is it like a button that you have set up? Fifty. That didn't do anything. Unfortunately. Damn. Uh, well, um. Yeah, it probably would have been a button. All right. Uh, you hold up the triggering mechanism. Uh, you two get away far enough. Uh, push the button once. You know you set everything up right. Do you push the button again? Um. Probably. All right, you push the button again, and the church explodes. And just the church, right? Just the church. You set it up perfectly. There is a fireball that goes straight up into the sky. Uh, some debris will land, like, on, the, on some rooftops. Uh, right, but it's not, like, going through the roofs, right? Right, no. Like, the pieces are very small. Okay. Yeah, I was. I, the intention was as little collateral as possible. Yeah, you uh, successfully do it with uh, no collateral damage. You startle everyone. Everyone gets scared. Oh, I'm immediately like tucking the 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 uh, button away, and being like, "Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> did you see that?" I'm talking to Garrett, like, "Did you see that? What happened?" I don't know. I just went in there. Save, save that kid over there. That's crazy. Right before it, when it exploded. Wow, that's crazy. I think we should leave before that potentially happens again. Who knows if those crazy people are out there. <laughs> and I'm just, <laughs> like, gently pushing Uru towards the way out of town. Just... Uh, really <laughs> It's... Yeah, uh, let's see. You do notice that there are guards rushing towards the explosion. Uh, can you both give me either a disguise, uh, etiquette, uh, stealth, uh, something to base, uh, something to basically just, uh, look casual. I'm bad at all of these. Whatever skill you think is fine with looking casual. Uh, no modifier. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna fail all of this. Actually, plus 20. I guess since I was, like, trying to do the whole talk thing, I guess... I would probably be doing the etiquette one. That would make more sense. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let me see. I doubt it, but we'll try. I, I doubt it. That's Never crazy. mind. Never mind. God is real. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are able to uh, make your way through the crowds. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, can you both throw me an awareness check? No hey, modifier. Awesome. Nope. As you are... Ooh. Uh, as you're going through the crowds, going back to your airship, you, uh, Doc, you are able to see someone walking in the other direction to investigate the explosion. Okay. There is a judge in town. (laughs) 
Um. Sixteen heartthrob judge. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I. No, isn't this the good boy? Oh yeah, you'd know that from. Uh... Yeah, I would know that. I don't. I mean, by sight, I wouldn't, because I probably wouldn't know what he looks like. But. Yeah, if you knew his name, you would know that this is the good. This species. is the good boy. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, I would recognize enough that that's a judge, though. Yeah. Yeah, you would. You'd be like, great. That's. We don't want to touch that. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna like push Garrett harder and say, we need to leave now. Go, go. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I was just going. Yeah, well, now you're being pushed even <laughs> more by me to make us leave faster. You are not. I'm running ahead of you. I'm faster. Wow, so That's you're running and leaving faster. me behind. That's so cringe. I sure am. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a bitch. Um, like, oh, as soon as we're both on the airship, I, I am <laughs> I am having us leave. All right, where would you like to go? Um, I mean, we already established our next destination is going to be the Sand Sea. I just, I know we talked about it, QB. I just can't remember which one it is. Uh, that'd be there? the Nam Yensa Sand Sea. Which yeah, and, and how to get there. So, uh, there was a train that would run from Bervania all the way up to Yensa and then to Ravenaster. Uh, this mm -hmm. was definitely the main mode of transportation for, okay. for foot traffic going from one direction to the other or cargo traffic. Uh, however, that train went under the tracks, uh, exploded a little bit. The train exploded a little bit. So those tracks, that rail line around Namiensa has been about, it's been under construction for quite okay. some time. And you know how yeah, construction it's, goes. It's so long. Yeah. So... You would either need to fly around the yachts or take a ferry to Jahara or Giza and then either fly to Ravenaster and then take the train or go on foot to the sea. Well, they weren't a big fan of airships, so... Yeah, you can't really bring your airship through that. Yeah. Yeah, that is a whole so, yacht right there. I'm thinking, I mean, we could, but, like, it'd be illegal. There is a way to do that, but it's illegal. If you had Nethocyte or Orocyte, you could. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We, we could, but yeah. it's illegal, and we just established that there's a judge nearby. It's illegal, and we're the law-abiding boats. Yeah, we're the law-abiding citizens. Um, we definitely didn't just commit an act of terrorism. Anyway, um... <laughs> to be yeah, fair, I, it is our first act of terrorism on purpose. That's true. That, well... That actually well, no. worked as intended. Okay. That yeah, worked that, as that, intended. <laughs> yeah, that, that caveat, that's, that's true. That's the first time that it's <laughs> gone to plan. Gone um, to plan and is terrorism. I mean, I would probably start flying us to Rabbit Minister. We'll just go back off the train and hopefully so, not blow this one up. So what you're saying is we're, we're literally going exactly back where we were before we went to sit here and all that stuff. Yeah, well, someone here decided make the made the decision on his own. So you know. Well, somebody had a little blood loss, so I had to I'm make some executive sorry decisions. Sorry, I had blood loss. I'll try to hold my blood in next time. Thank you. you should. Maybe yes, cauterize sir. better next time. I'm sorry that I cauterized late. <laughs> Bitch, why didn't you cauterize it for me? 
You're gonna trust my heel jerk? No, but you're the one giving me shit. All right, I'll make my heel jerk. Anyway, we are going to Rabinaster. All right, are you going to be taking the ferry back? Um, Does probably. that involve a pit stop at Satir? Because <laughs> we don't want that. You can stay on the boat if you want. Well, at the I leave stop. that decision making up to you. So it's not my problem. <laughs> oh, is the ferry the way we got there in the first place? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Um. Can can we not just like fly there ourselves? I mean, you can. Like, if we go the long way. We have to go a long way around. It like how a, long? Uh, well, let me do the math for you. Uh, it's currently on stream. If you want to see the long. Yeah, I got. Out. I've got the stream up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, eight thousand six hundred twenty-six kilometers. So it's just gonna be cheaper to take the ferry, I guess. Yeah, it's three thousand gil to take the ferry. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any uh, plans of getting off the uh, our airship while we're going on the ferry. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> um, Can we actively like work on their crafting stuff while we're being the airship's being ferried? You can, yes. Great, because I still have something to craft. Okay, yeah. Do you have something to craft? What? <laughs> I know, crazy, right? Well, you see, I'm still using tier 3 armor, so I would like to craft that. I think we wrote that down, too, on the crafting info, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, and it's paid for. Nice. Yeah, yes, um, I'm, I'm staying on the boat. <laughs> I would like to deconstruct my weapon station and put up the new cooking station and cook. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, you have uh, uh, two work days, uh, or eighteen about about nineteen hours. Is that enough to do my armware, or am I going to have an extra time that I have to spend there? Oh, let me see. What tier is your armor? Uh, the armor I'd be making is tier four. Uh, it would be seventeen hours. Uh, just for the base armor. Uh, is the ability you want to add? Um, yes, I have three abilities I want to add. All right. Uh, what was the first ability you would want to add? Uh, plus one strength. All right. And... Yeah, I'd say that you can make the base with the plus one strength uh, and have that done by the time you get there, since it does, since that 18.6 hours is uh, how long it takes without fueling halfway. So, yeah. You could do uh, all that together, should be 24 hours, I believe. No, 21 okay. hours. Okay. So, give me your tinkering. Uh, plus 10. Plus, plus 10? Uh, you said it's tier 4, right? Yeah, it's tier 4, strength plus 1 for the first ability. Okay, yeah. Uh, are you doing them together or separate? Uh, probably together. Okay, then uh, plus 10. Are you fucking kidding oh, me? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Give me a 28. Yeah, 28. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, 
Yeah, that is a crit. Congratulations. Also, uh, 42 from chat on items. Let me see what that is. Well, uh, 42 will not get you a uh, uh, something to keep blood in your body. It's something that Nemi would have loved to have like two episodes ago. <laughs> you, uh, as you are sailing about, there is uh, someone that walks by and is like, oh, you're... You're part of a hunting guild. You're part of the hunting guild, right? Who are they talking to? Uh, either of you. Doc. I, I <laughs> Both of our plans was to stay on the boat. Yeah, we're on the boat. How did they get to the bottom level? Oh, on the air, on your airship, on the family. yeah, we're using yeah. the tinkering station and All right. the the like cooking station. All right. In that case, uh, that would be is... really impressive. That would be very impressive. Uh, in that case, a soft just uh, clinks its way, just beep, 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 uh, all the way down the stairs. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. Um, that was a gift from chat. Thank you. Thanks, chat. Thank you for that. Um, the next ability would be a speed plus one. Yes, and that can be made when you uh, take off. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, Garrett, what do you want to do during the ferry ride? Um, I want to cook. All right, what would you like to cook? Um, I would like to cook one batch of ration agility up, two batches of ration armor up, and uh, two batches of spirit up drink. All right. Uh, and that that should be enough time. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's only like, what, six hours? So that's all. I'm, that's the main bulk of what I'm doing, other than that's probably study. Alright, uh, give me the first, what is it, uh, ration? Uh, ration agility. Alright, give me a plus 20. It's with the exceptional tool. Plus 40. Yes. Yes. You make three rations. Congratulations. What's the second item? Um, ration armor. Ration plus 40. It's going to be two sets of it. All right. Give me two of them. Yes. Yes. All right. You have six armor up rations. And then two sets of uh, spirit up drink. All right. Give me plus 60 twice. Yay. All right. Congratulations. You have six of those drinks. All right. You have successfully landed in Jahara after your, uh, about 22 hour or right. Uh, you're going to be setting stuff. Is this going to be uh, continuous or do you want to get, uh, do you want to flash study? <sighs> Ideally it would be further, but I figure for convenience, I probably should do finish out the season without having extra. Yeah, that's fair. Flash study, give me a minus 40. On my inquiry? Yes. Also known as my what magic? Your, yes. <laughs> your, your toy box? Your toy box. Give it to me. 
well, the toy box is 40, so it'd be zero. So I might as well just crit or die and try mm -hmm. to get inquiry skill. Crit or die. Crit, crit or, or die. die. Uh, negative 29. Uh, <laughs> negative is so fucking funny, though. It's so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. After that time, you are... Uh, Rabinaster is just... Ba -ba -ba, is just 550 kilometers away. You're so close. And now you just need the train tickets. We're so close. You're so close. Uh, we get the train tickets, so we start there. Probably a smart idea. Yeah. And... Yeah, I don't think there'd be enough time to... Actually, let me double check. Common space, how fast is your boat? 550. Uh, you can get there in less than an hour if you do a uh, coasting speed. Sure. All right. Okay. All right. Then you get there, and uh, the explosion that happened in Bervania is all over the news. As people are. Uh, uh, people are blaming uh, House Mar Grace for the explosion. <laughs> Remind me for, of for a gonna... war crime of blowing up a church. Indeed. I was going to say the name, the name sounds familiar, but I can't remember the relevance offhand. Uh, Prince Mar Grace is. Uh, the lord of one of the five high houses of the Rosarian Empire. Got it. So we just, you know, help the civil war in Rosaria. It's fine. Oh, great. I mean, we don't have a fucking clue about that, so... I mean, I guess we probably would if they're talking about it, but... Yeah, especially on the news. Yeah, this is yeah, the... Yeah, but I'm just saying, but before we had no idea when we were doing it. Yeah, we were just blowing up some asshole's church. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Well, that's, that's not great. So now you know about the Civil War. Congrats on knowing about the Civil War. Wow, this sucks. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I mean, yeah, we could have killed people. There could have been a botch on that explosion. Wow, well, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, that's true. It's definitely a good thing that I didn't roll a botch at all <laughs> once during any of that. Yup. <laughs> yep. Uh, thank goodness for channel points. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with that, we can call it for today on Steal the Skies, <laughs> the Little Buff Boys, Buff Boys!